Hi, I'm Louise and in this video we'll be looking at energy monitoring and metering. Taking stock of your energy usage is a good use of time for any company. By looking at what we consume, we can cut our energy bills, reduce carbon emissions and help provide a better working environment for staff. The best way to do this is to measure our consumption by metering and monitoring our sites. You are probably already familiar with energy metering, either from your domestic supplies or from your workplace. These meters tell us how much energy has been consumed in a certain time period. We can use this information further to get some basic data about how and when we are consuming energy. For example, how our energy consumption changes throughout the year or with the seasons. Instead of just looking at the bigger picture, it's possible to monitor the use of individual pieces of equipment and the effect that they can have on the building as a whole. This can include monitoring the air temperature to ensure that the heating system is working as programmed, or installing light sensors to make sure that the lights are being turned off and on at appropriate times. There are many different types of sensor available to monitor your site and give an understanding of how you use energy. Some types of gas and electricity meters report your consumption to the supplier automatically. This is known as automatic meter reading and allows you to see your half hourly energy consumption data. This data lets energy suppliers see what times of day you consume the most energy and possibly apply variable tariffs based on your time of use. As a consumer, you are entitled to see this data. Sometimes suppliers may analyse the data for you as part of their service, but looking at the data yourself can be really beneficial. On screen, we have an example of some half hourly data. Each column shows a day of the year and each row a half hourly time period. We've coloured the cells to let us easily see the usage patterns. By doing this, we can see the daily work pattern. Intense energy use starts at 8am and ends at around 4pm. Here we can see low consumption in December, matching the Christmas period. These are all typical of what we'd expect to see on half hourly data logs. The interesting areas are the out of hours periods. Sometimes we can see increased energy usage, which is most likely unintentional. Looking at this can help to guide energy management strategies for the company. Unexpected usage can be investigated and appropriate measures installed to ensure that it's stopped. If we want to look at our energy consumption in more detail, we can install energy monitoring systems to help us work out what is responsible for the consumption. These systems range from small, simple, self-installed systems or larger automatic building energy management systems. Building energy management systems can make use of our energy data to make adjustments to the building's control systems, such as heating, lighting or ventilation. Handheld electricity clamp meters can be used to gather more data than a standard billing meter. These are normally a coil or a clamp which are fitted around the live cable of an appliance or at the meter tails. When a current flows through the cable, a smaller current is induced in the coil and the meter reads this. These devices are inexpensive and can be easily fitted, allowing you to build up a comprehensive monitoring system. The other main forms of energy which can be metered include gas, heated water and steam. These all use a type of flow meter to measure the energy use. If the energy you are measuring is heat related, temperature and flow sensors will need to be installed. These are more expensive than electricity meters, so it's not always cost effective to install large numbers of these. So you've collected all of this data, now what do you do with it? The best way to put this data to use is to take a monitoring and targeting approach. Set expected consumption values for different activities or bits of equipment and then measure their actual energy use against the target figures. This can be used to identify energy savings across the site and prioritise areas which can have larger savings. Establishing the expected consumption values can often be a task in itself. Sometimes energy use can be easy to predict, for example lighting. Other forms of energy use are more complex and less predictable. In the next section of this video we'll cover how to predict energy usage. Energy benchmarking can be used to make sure that your site is consuming an expected amount of energy. This compares your site's consumption with national averages. There are a range of benchmarks available for different organisations and building types, 
and different figures for typical use and best practice. Before using benchmarks, it's important to note that consumption for certain operations is often excluded. For example, manufacturing sites rarely have consumption figures included, as there are so many variables as to what could be being consumed. Some energy consumption is strongly related to weather, in particular, heating. By using historical weather data, it is possible to estimate how much consumption might vary over a given time period. One way in which we can estimate heating demands is by using heating degree days. These measure how often the outdoor temperature falls beneath the point where indoor heating is required. You can use heating degree days and compare it with your actual heating data. In theory, energy consumption should rise and fall in proportion with heating degree days, as shown on the graph. Here we can see the theoretical consumption versus the actual consumption, and we can easily see where energy might be being wasted. Looking at this data can prompt us to review the temperature controls for the building or check to see if there are any faults in the system. I hope you found this video useful. You can find out more information about monitoring and metering by downloading our fact sheets or learn more about other energy efficiency methods by watching our other videos. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.